if you want to find out the value of 10 choose 2 on this calculator for your binomial expansion, here's how. Press catalogue, scroll down to probability, and press execute. Then scroll down to combination, press execute. Enter in the values using the cursors, 10 in front of the C, 2 after the C, and then press execute to get the answer of 45. And that's it. In this video, we're going to calculate a probability using the binomial distribution. If a random variable x has this binomial distribution, we can calculate the probability that x equals 10 by pressing home, two across, press OK, then OK to choose binomial probability distribution, move down one to choose variable, press OK, and we can now enter the information for the question here. So x equals 10, execute, n's 30, execute, p is 0 0.25, execute. We then press execute again to get the required probability. If we want to find another probability from the same distribution, just press AC and enter the new value. And that's it. If a random variable x has this binomial distribution, we can calculate the probability of x being less than or equal to 4 using this calculator. So first press home, move 2 to the right, OK for distribution, scroll down to binomial CD, press OK, down to variable, press OK. Now we enter the details of the question, x equals 4, OK, n is 10, OK, p is 0 0.25, OK, then we have to press execute. And here we have the required probability. Hello, just a quick video to let you know where the factorial button is on this calculator. Press catalogue, scroll down to probability, press OK, then scroll down to factorial, OK, and there it is. Let's do one example, move over to the left, put five, let's work out what five factorial is. It's 120, which is indeed 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Hope this helps. Here's how to work out the mean, median and standard deviation of discrete data using this calculator. Press home, scroll across one to statistics mode, press OK. Now choose one variable, OK. Now we need a frequency column on this table. To do that we press tools, scroll down to frequency, choose that choose on and here we have a back key to press twice to get back to the table. Now we can enter our data 5 execute, 6 execute, 7 execute, 8 execute and move up to the top of the table 8 execute, 10 execute, 7 execute, 3 execute Right, to get the summary statistics, press execute again, choose one variable, press OK. And here we have a list of all sorts of things. On this list, x bar is mean, sigma x is standard deviation, sigma squared x is the variance, q1 is the lower quartile, med is the median, so that's um, where you get the... Um, those ones on the second screen, um, and Q3 is the upper quartile. Also, if you want to, to use, um, if you want to show you're working, you can use sigma x squared from the list and n from the list to um, put them into this equation and show how you've got the standard deviation. I hope this helps.
Thank you for watching. Hello, to calculate the PMCC for bivariate data using this calculator, here's how to do it. Press home, then choose statistics, and then scroll down to two variable, choose that. So I've already entered most of this data, so I'll just scroll down to the last column, enter 25, Enter eight. Then, when you've entered all of your data, press execute again. Now, choose regular results. Then, choose the linear equation. And on this screen, R is the PMCC. So, just as a note, if you when you do, before you enter your data at this point, make really sure that you've deleted anything else in there to avoid confusion. And you do that by pressing Tools, Edit and Delete All. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Hello. If you have a normal distribution like this, with where 8 is the mean and 0 0.2 is the standard deviation, you could find this probability by using the normal CD function on your calculator. And here's how. Press Home, move over to Distribution, press OK. Now scroll down to get Normal CD and enter in your values. 7.8 is the lower bound. 8.2, and then we've got the mean of 8, execute, standard deviation, execute, and press execute to get the required probability. If you are calculating a probability like this, then you need to put a lower limit in at least five standard deviations away from the mean. Thank you very much for watching. Hello, if you have a normal distribution where 20 is the mean and 3 is the standard deviation, you can find out what A is in the case of this probability by using the inverse normal function on your calculator. And here's how. Press home, over to distribution, OK. Now scroll down to inverse normal, press OK. Now you have to enter in the values. So we've got the area is the probability, 0.75. You've got the mean, 20. Standard deviation, 3. Then press execute for the required probability. If you want to continue using the same normal distribution, you could just press AC or back to get back um, to where you entered your values. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.